point, I feel like you have to trust science down the road, but you don't, perhaps like what you're saying, is trust. Well, well, you don't have to trust well, the people that are telling you the results. Yeah. Okay, well, then, on that then, because here's the other thing is uh, my, my brother-in-law works for NASA, and so he's going to let me go and go through the whole facility and everything. I don't get to you're go into the alien NASA. room or whatever. He's but so that I can like he butts head with that. So that we can once and for all debunk this flat earth theory, but maybe we won't debunk it. I don't know because this flat earth thing became super popular here in the last 2 years, right? Where people well, are really extremely smart. Years ago, it was huge. Well, yeah. <laughs> people are like extremely smart putting out all of this information to explain this flat earth. So where do you stand on it? Well, when I first heard about Flat Earth, it was probably like a year and a half ago on Joe Rogan's podcast. I was, I was, we were talking about something, and then Joe Joe's, was trying to explain how dumb people are and goes, dude, there's people <laughs> that still believe the Earth is flat and the sun is 3,000 miles away. And I remember, this is like a year and a half ago. I'm a grown ass. I was in my 40s. Balls deep in conspiracies <laughs> my whole life. And when I heard that, I thought, oh, like, what are they like just super religious people i mean like people people actually still believe the earth is flat that's this is just me like a year and a half ago and then uh, a few months later i do the podcast again and then joe brings it up again he goes uh flat earth theory and i thought and i said and so he asked me i think what do you think of the flat earth and i thought and i know i said this on his podcast i go it's got to be some CIA psyop, kind of like Scientology. It's got to be like Scientology, where they're just checking to see how stupid people are. And the Earth is flat. It's ridiculous. I'm like, I had an iPhone four. I saw the picture of the Earth, that blue marble, on my goddamn iPhone, my smartphone, every day. That was the default. I go, there's no way you're gonna convince me. I mean, like, it was. It had to be CIA psyop, and then that's it. And then um, a few months later, like maybe less than a year ago talking about i'm going off on on conspiracy theories in my class in my jujitsu class going off i'm getting mad at people that don't believe this or that i'm like i'm like getting freaking crazy and then some guy goes ah, yeah i agree with everything you said have you looked into flat earth i said dude please please flat earth that's got to be the most retarded thing i've ever heard you're like no no that's too crazy for me it's got to be the most retarded dinosaurs thing. aren't real but yeah, flat yeah. Earth. i'm like please <laughs> you're distracting from the real issues here that we have to deal with the real issues and um, he said, okay, okay. And, and he, I told him, just please, zip it. <laughs> and then a couple months later, another one of my students said, hey, man, you ever look into flat earth? <laughs> and I said, I looked over him. And I, I, wanted, I was, like, angry. And all of a sudden, I just wanted to debunk him. I go, I go that is, that's, a, that's the dumbest thing ever. And he said, hey, listen, man, I got a master's in engineering. Look into it. You do the math. You do the science. And I'm like, dude, I'm no scientist. But I could prove that the world is round in one minute. So we're texting each other back and forth. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Well, what was like, it about the theory? Of, what was it about the theory that just got you? Where you're like, It's the Whoa. dumbest thing I've ever heard. The earth is flat. Yeah. And the sun is 3,000 miles away. But did you debunk him or did he No, I went home. No, I went home. No, I went home. And I go, I'm just going to find a picture. It's really simple. You don't... You know, all these people that are... are trying it's to not really simple. Okay, it's not yeah. really simple. Yeah. No, it's simple. It's no, simple. it's not. I'm going to go... I'm gonna, I, there's got to be tens of thousands of pictures of Earth from space. I don't need any science. I don't need an engineering degree. I don't need how to put numbers together and all this stuff. Just show... I'm going to show you pictures, many pictures, and I'm going to text them to you, show you pictures of Earth from space. So you, you go to Google and you'll... Uh, pictures of Earth from space. And you look at them and... Obviously, like right away, I thought, this is all, car these are all CGI cartoons. There, there should be tens of thousands of real, actual pictures. So then I started looking into it, and then I thought, and these pictures are coming from the NASA website, nasa.gov. I'm like, NASA is in charge of space information? <laughs> Doesn't have pictures? And I, and I already thought, okay, NASA uh, faked multiple moon missions. Let's get these believe, photos pulled up, guys. Moon? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he does, too. Uh, Do you believe we didn't? Absolutely not. Oh he my. thinks if you fly up over Earth, you're going to see ice walls surrounding a little Petri dish that's growing us. It's a grow up. No, well, okay, here's... Hold okay, on. here... So, anyway, so this is what happened. <laughs> okay. So then I, I look into it. I dig more and more. And then, again, there's Eric Dubay. Again, I looked at... Look, just watch his video. There's a, a video called... Um, 
This best one is called The History of Flat Earth, and it takes you the timeline of how we decided the Earth was a ball and what, the, you know, why we did uh, a couple, few hundred years ago. It's Eric Dubé breaks it down better than anybody. You listen to him talk about flat Earth just for but so why don't we minutes. why don't we fall off the earth at some point well if, if our ship got to understand the flat earth i don't know listen or why listen, if you're on the really flat good, water and the ship of disappears of from view because it's going down okay. i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna explain that right please now. but let me make it clear there's no proof that the world is flat it's just the people uh, like or eric, like eric dubé crushes the proof that the earth is round why aren't there any pictures of space i used to have i still well i probably threw them away now uh, unless they're in storage, but stacks and stacks of DVDs, space series, BBC, the universe, Morgan. I'll, I would just take my natural medicines and watch over and over and just, and every now and then, <laughs> over and every now and then, I'm watching these space documentaries. Me and Joe Rogan, just space documentary after space documentary, over and over the same ones we'd watch. And every now and then, I think to myself, uh, it's weird that we're not watching any actual footage of space. It's all CGI. Oh, but, that, but that's okay. And then we just keep watching and we keep, and then I, I think about that. It is kind of weird that, how the hell do they know what this looks How the hell do they know that star and that galaxy are 500,000 light years apart? And then, and then I just watch it, and then I'm trying to remember everything, trying to be really smart. So when people start talking about space, I go, did you know the sun is 93 million miles away <laughs> from the planet? Well, you know, and I'm, then just even taking, though I'm just taking this information. So now, as soon as I find out that these fake pictures of Earth from space, like, I don't know why there's, it should be any, they're coming from NASA. And then you look into it, and they admit it. They go, yes, uh, these are all C, like composites, CGI. So NASA's not even saying they're real pictures. Why? And then... Uh, aren't, don't we have Hubble? That, why don't you point it at the Earth and get some awesome shots of where we live? How come Hubble's not taking any Well, if you follow the astronauts live? on Twitter that are up there in space, they're constantly tweeting out photos. Uh, um, that you interviewed from the ISS. This is, I mean, all, he thinks it's all, fake. That's all. That's all. The ISS? That's okay, fake. so the ISS isn't real. All, uh, actually, it, are you able to pull up any of those scams. NASA Here, yeah, photographs you're talking about? Here's, here's, here's my issue. It's all tax scams. They're just stealing money. Here, here's my oh, issue. Well, there is a there is a secret no, space so anyway, program. So with the flat Earth thing, really quick, let me just let me just end it now. I'm not saying the Earth is flat. Okay, you got to understand that the flat. Oh, oh, I got to answer a, a couple questions for you. First, like, why do ships uh, seem to go over the horizon? Right. Right. right? Um, it's the law. The earth it's, is round. It's the law of perception. Everything coming from your eyes converges into a, a vanishing point. Yeah, but could that be the no. law of perception because we're on a globe? <laughs> no, no. And if we were on a flat Earth, the laws would be different. That's what I've. Uh, that's what but I'm. But your trying perception. To no, 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 let me finish. Your perception finish. doesn't matter no. if it's being recorded no. 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 through a telescope. No. You could go on YouTube right now. You could pull up on YouTube <laughs> and look. You, you could see. A, you take a camera, without the zoom on, and you videotape. A ship going over there and it looks like it's sinking it's sinking it looks like it's it must be going over the horizon all you do is turn on the zoom and the ship's right there again well eventually though it gets so far away well eventually when you can't zoom when the zoom doesn't work anymore hmm. explain that that i could prove that right now okay here's so, the it looks you like can explain the ship, that with math it, though it looks like the, <sighs> well no 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 but if you're saying the ship is you're losing it because it's going over the curve it doesn't matter what kind of zoom you have you wouldn't be able to see it that's science so if you could zoom in and the whole ship appears again with the zoom, it didn't go over a curve. That's science. But you and wouldn't. I'm not even a scientist. But you wouldn't be able to do that all the way to South America or something. No, who, but who knows? It, and you, you only know you, and, you know until the zoom runs out. If you have like infinite zoom. You okay, we have telescopes that can see into space. They're I'm going to need someone to point that telescope yeah. no, at a ship going over the they're horizon. All what I'm saying is again. If, and this is why people thought the Earth was round. That's like uh, old physicists from like 300 years ago that were going, the ships, look, the ship, it must be round. But must, why, we must be on a ball. So look. So look, why look, didn't they ever fall look, off the, why yeah, didn't they ever fall off the Earth Nobody believed that until people then. circumnavigated the planet. That's right. when they started to say, okay, wait, now we have to consider Why didn't you fall off This is, this is the, the flat ball. Earth a model. You're, Which is flat, impossible. It's like we're in a, it's, it's like we're in a, Petri dish. filled with water. Here's the yeah. issue with this. But then why okay? don't we ever hit the edge? If, you, the you ice wall. South Pole. You, that's South Pole. But Anywhere there is no South Pole. But there is no South Pole. The edge. The outer edge. So there is no South Pole. So the middle is the North Pole. The middle. 
The middle is the North Pole, and the sun and the moon go around like that. The middle is the North Pole, so anywhere you go south, you hit the South Pole, and you, nobody... But that's not the South Pole. It's just Antarctica, which is a sheet of ice that surrounds us. An Here's ice wall. the issue with this, okay? Now... That's it right there. Wait, wait. Okay, let just me just... Because, just because that... That's that how you go around boy. the world. You, have, you ask about circumnavigation. You go Except that doesn't work because you would have to have your wheel turning right the no, whole time. No, because you would science. just go doing, going straight lines. That's There's right. no math. There's You're no math. Straight. You'd have to have your wheel turned right the whole... I hey, love it. Hey, I'm you not saying I believe. Even. I'm Bro, not saying you would have to have your wheel turned right the whole time. You would have to have your wheel turned right the whole time if the Earth was flat to circumnavigate. That's South Pole. <clears throat> but that's not the South Pole. The there is no pole South the Pole. Middle. Here's the thing, man. I am. No, anyways, listen. Your boy, your boy Dubay. Your boy Eric Dubay. Dubay. Go, go your, watch your, your Dubay. Your, history your, of flat Earth. Look, that's Dubay right. is your, debunked. Your, your Dubay cover in your room is a nice guy. And, and you know what? Look. I, honestly, I don't know the guy's stuff. I'm sure it's great. I've looked into this I don't myself. Know it's real. And I'm honestly I know, more I know NASA, f but look, look, but look. NASA faked the moon landings, <laughs> every one of them, and that's where all our information is coming from. They, all that shit should be under a microscope. There's some like, truth nah, to that. Nah, nah, it's real. Nah. Space but just be because your boy, just because your boy has done math to disprove what he thinks is the current belief of the globe or the measurements and everything okay so so maybe we've got the measurements wrong. wrong he could be so wrong. maybe that like yeah. you said maybe the earth is bigger than we think yeah. maybe it's smaller so exactly. just because he disproves something in the common understanding of the globe and the math doesn't mean that it's not round doesn't there's mean different that it's ways flat. to calculate the same like equation this. think about it like this now and i'm i'm interested to see the flight patterns thing that you're telling me about i'd be interested to see that but still even even let's say that all these flight patterns show how they all avoid the north pole they all avoid the south pole magically they're all just going around the world around the equator instead of going north and south oh, so you looked into it a little bit listen i've i do i told you i looked into all this stuff man I'm the, eric dubay though he breaks it down but listen the but, but listen, also though. it's also there's but, an but, electromagnetic but listen, field going Going that from the north change. and south, that would if mess the with the flat, flight patterns. Though, if the Earth was flat, all <laughs> of the navigation systems that are used, all of the geolocation and all of that would not work. It would fail because all of those measurements are based on a sphere. So all the measurements and all the stuff they plug into the plane no, and all that stuff. Apparently it's all based on a flat plane. And it's not based so then, okay. So, so, then, it's so it's like a flat dome that goes like this. Every pilot ever is behind know. it too. Then, so you got to get every pilot that's ever flown no, a plane. No, they don't have to be behind it. They just follow. They just following like they're. Okay, well, the only time I could ever just uh, and I, it was, I don't know. It was I don't when know. have I mean, you guys? They're, they're looking just, at the wheel. Have, have you guys? Right. I've talked to pilots personally. Have I've you guys seen the show? Some of them don't think chemtrails exist. Okay. There's no it exists. Have you guys seen Westworld? Exactly. Have you seen Westworld? No. Okay, so this in Westworld where they go to the. To the simulation, Westworld. the Westworld device, and they're looking at it, and they're looking, they're going, oh, well, we, sh we need to change this over here. And so they're looking into this world. That is the only time I was ever saying, okay, I see where the flat earth people, because then, then we're living in a simulation, and we're basically, you know, it's like this don't. This Do you crazy, recall the scene yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, this is the crazy thing is everybody will uh, entertain the possibilities of, man, what if we're, we're scientists are saying that we're, in a, we're simulation. in a computer simulation. Everybody's, like, ha happy to look into that and the information, like, fuck, oh, that'll be cool. We're a computer <laughs> simulation. But when you bring up that maybe we br we've been lied to about what we're on, no, oh, that's fucking, you're wasting my time. You're wasting my time. I'm like, oh, what, are you going to go watch Game of Thrones now? You're going to watch some fiction? And you're going to have an open mind and look into it. Everything that we, all the pictures and images from space are CGI. None of them are real. Isn't that a, a shitty detective would go, wait a minute. None of the pictures from space. Okay, but you got to explain we that on another level. Positive. Okay, but Isn't now hold on, though. Coming so from I, NASA? Hey, we do have I'll, some pretty I'll, amazing look, look. telescopes I'll, I'll, and photographic I'll capability to be able to, real to, to not have CGI Earth. Show, show me real I'll give you that. No, 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 no. no. He, he, he earns a Did point there. Did we find any real admits pictures? This. NASA admits that their photos are pretty much all fake and everything. But at the same time, they do live feeds from the ISS that they never admit are fake. So there's semantics there. But, again, <laughs> man, you're, you're talking about... I mean, this is beyond just, okay, a government that's run based on blackmail and, and, and pedophiles and all that. You're talking about now you've Why got would they people lie that to raise us about families like thing. pilots, people and engineers that are designing these telescopes. What about all these satellites they're claiming that are going up to space? Where are the waves going from your cell phone? Listen, when someone brought up flat earth theory to me, like I told you, I wouldn't even ask those questions. I was just like, dude, you're retarded. Huh. So the fact that you're at, you're at, you got some legit questions that need answers... That's why you need to watch History of Flat okay, Earth. Okay, so, so, so you think that 
Everything, okay, so everything that comes, how it. about this? How I about can't this? explain but it. So all, you, I, all I know is I don't trust Try to explain Wait, so wait, I don't know if it's flat, I don't know if it's okay. round or flat. You don't know. I don't know what we're on, but I'm looking into it. Uh, so, so wait, why outside, don't you why don't you offer to be one of Tesla's first uh, people that he says he wants to fly civilians into space? Remember, why don't you I'll go? I'll go with you. From, who is why the don't guy, you go? I'll go with you. the guy that owns Virgin America? Richard Branson. Yes. That Branson. guy, he was talking about it 20 years ago, that he's going to space flight. And, then, and now Elon Musk is talking about it. Th let me tell you this right now. I'm going to make a prediction. That is never going to happen. That is never going to happen. No one's going to. Elon Musk, dude from Virgin America couldn't take nobody. He owns, what happened to that? That just faded away. Yeah, you know Lady said, Gaga said, offered yeah, to be the well, first one. He mom. looked into it, tried to, where do I apply for this? And they said, you better sit your ass down because you ain't going into space. Nobody can go into space. Nobody's going into space. You, so all so the you images, don't think the astronauts have ever been in space? All of the images coming from space. You think are no not astronauts real. have? Yeah. So what are we <laughs> looking at then? What do I in my telescope? What am I looking at when Lights. I look at stars you know, and like weird, I don't know, cosmos weird and stuff? Weird. When you look, when you even look at planets, they're like look like a light. It's a light. Okay. Again, Lights. my brother-in-law works for NASA. He help, He works not in like far. the jet fuel area. I don't know what it is, man. <laughs> There's some it, there, whatever the sun is. The, I don't flat Earth. That's, that's fake. fake. That's all fake. <laughs> this is live, isn't that's it? Fake. This is a live feed, isn't it? It's a live feed. Yeah, this is a legit. That's what they tell you. That's what they yeah. tell you. you it's moving. That? See, the I don't believe shit coming from them. They're a bunch. Of, they fake moon landings. So, so what are those they satellites? So you're gonna believe that? What are the satellites up in the sky then? Are they fake no too? All of them? Never. There's no pictures of any satellites in the sky. But you can see it with your eyes. Yeah, or you can see a satellite. You can see it with your own eyes. Okay, show me, show me a, a video of a satellite in the sky. Have you ever been to like? Hey guys, pull that video have you video ever been to Portland or Rogers like Montana? That's fake. Like, all right, so that's what I'm saying. So it's just all no. fake. Then. No, you, no, no. Have you ever been? Okay, even Northern California, where there aren't, a, there's not a lot of light noise. Somewhere like Portland, Montana, somewhere where there's, you can actually see the stars. West Texas. Yeah. You can see the satellites with your naked eye. They're not okay, UFOs. Okay. Satellites are supposed to be the size of a bus. Right? You can see them. Okay, okay, look, look. Satellites are supposed to be the size of a bus. A, 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 a 747 is the size of five buses. And when they're 30,000 feet in the air, you can barely see them as a speck. You think you're going to see a bus that's 100,000 feet a, or a couple miles in the air? Yeah. Two miles? You can see yeah. a light. Wait a minute. You're going to see... What? They, they, they have a, a lamp on So you them? think they're UFOs? Listen, 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 listen. Real quick. Let me repeat myself. Okay. A, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. a satellite is the size of a bus. Not all satellites have a universal so size. Then what do, no, but what that's do we the see? average size. Okay. It's like, they're like a bus. Okay. The International bus. Space Station Okay, let's just say, let's, let's say... Let's say that satellites are the size of a 747, okay? 747s fly at an average altitude of 30,000 feet. You can, you, they're like a speck at 30,000 feet. How high do you think satellites are supposed to be? So, and you're telling me you see them with the naked eye? That's yeah. not science. You so then what the is, uh, <laughs> so then what? So you're telling me that the satellites have like this beaming light? Come, what are they? No, they, yeah. you, they're gonna, not a beaming light. Satellites have a beaming light No, they don't. see from the ground? They don't even oh. have a light. You can, yeah. you can see them. What, what's light? I'm why just, do they I need see, all so that what energy? Am I seeing? So, so what are we seeing? That's what I'm saying. So what is it? Why are they? What is it? Okay, again. A plane is at thirty thousand. No, 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 no. How about this? And a satellite is a couple hundred thousand feet. Listen. And you're telling me you could see it because it has a beam of light coming out of it. That's how you can tell the difference between us. Why do they waste energy on having a beam of light? If you ask anybody, it doesn't have a beam of light. I don't. What's the, illuminating? You don't even need the light. No, you, you do need the light. Need the light because, you can listen, see it. That's you how you the tell the difference. That's how you tell then the difference it, between the light and What is the meaning of the light on the satellite? My because brain hurts. That's how you tell the difference between the satellite. My brain hurts. They're going to have, gonna have all that energy and they're going to have a beam then of light. Then what is it? Coming out of a satellite. Eddie Bravo, millions of people out there who have seen satellites with their naked eye want to know Maybe then, even built what is it? Sent them up. How can you see a bus? 200,000 feet in the air. All right. I don't know how, do you, how hold on, hold on. They're how not that it? far out of the Earth's atmosphere. You can't they're see they're a plane. We're not going anywhere. This is a dead end. Let me let me bring I this. Can't I can't believe you've never tell you seen this. a satellite. I have seen this. Mr. I, have I actually, look at the sky I've all the time. I've seen this no, with I've my bare eyes. I've never, Eddie. I look at the sky. You have hold to on. go 
Listen to you this. You have to go where there isn't light noise. Listen to you this. Have to go, you have to go Apparently where there's... The sky. Yeah, and they you orbit, too. That's the other no, thing. You can see yeah, they're, they're all lined up. They're in a perfect line. They go in a straight the line. That's how these cell phone satellites how is that, work. How is that because it just moves like this, slow and steady and straight. And you can see how they're all lined up perfectly in a spear that... You know, okay. that's how they work. All but right. but but we're not going anywhere. You may be right. So let me say this. So let me go to this. I may be wrong. But, but who knows? That could just be them in a circle around the flat Earth. I so challenge I guess you to could, look into the sky know. next time you're somewhere where you there's no this? light I'm noise. just curious if there's any explanation in the flat Earth theory for, uh, you know, space debris coming into our atmosphere. That is something I've seen asteroid fields with my bare eyes. I've seen asteroids enter our atmosphere. The rock, you can see it break up and basically explode in the atmosphere. I've seen this with my bare eyes multiple times. What is that? Then? That's Zeus throwing a rock into hey, the listen, flat Earth. I'm not saying the Earth is flat. I'm just asking questions. And NASA is not to be trusted. So anything coming from them, I'm going to investigate. You and I, I listen, it's smarter you and I, you and I. OK, wait, 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 wait. We're going to no. circumnavigate the world starting from the South Pole. And we're going to go all the way around the North Pole. I, and we're going to end up back on the South Pole. I think you need to make a UN treaty. Let's go together. You can't go, you know, you And then we're going to blast off. We are going to the circumnavigate the Earth and debunk this or prove it once and for all. I think that's an excellent idea. But you know here's what? the thing. You know what? You know what you can do? This is what you can do. You, this is how you prove the world is, is round. Get on a plane, find some billionaire guy, and fly over the Antarctica. Fly over it and go around, go around and fly over it. When you can do that, then I'll believe it. Okay, if somebody's, but I need which is, it's been done. But there are people out there right now who have no one, the capability to, to take us. So allowed. then, so then, all the they're satellite images are fake. Of what? Of Antarctica. Antarctica. Is it CGI? No, I'm asking. Well, I'm, I'm asking you. Is, is it, it CGI? Fake? If it's CGI, <laughs> is CGI real or not real? CGI is fake. So okay, you're saying so what's that they're the all question? fake. What's the question? So Antarctica All the isn't... images of Antarctica and the theories now that the center of it is melting. They actually think there's like a spaceship under it now. They're not even Where sure if it's that a piece from? of land. Government scientists? Huh? Government scientists? Whoa, 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 I thought we were questioning everything here, Eddie. I don't know. All I'm saying is information. I was showing you. Remember the other day? I was showing you. I was yes. looking at Antarctica. I found what looked like a spaceship buried in the ice. That's fake pictures of Antarctica. Oh, so that could be, be anything. Fake. Like what? No, but Antarctica. I mean, it could be anything. Yeah, you said it in me. You could. You could <laughs> just, yeah, anything you go, could be anything. Just because you go on the outter edges of Antarctica. Okay. I mean, no, I understand. That that I understand. Over, that doesn't disprove. That doesn't disprove yeah. your flat Earth theory. And but if is, there was an ice wall, wouldn't we see it? I think even you if we had eight, eight more hours, bring we would up not... ice Antarctica ice wall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bring that up, please, and we will. Non CGI. Do you want, want this non CGI? Just like Game of Thrones, you're gonna love it. Make sure How it's the ice the wall's non okay in Game CGI. of Thrones, but in real life, it's not okay. I don't watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> you could pull up. You could pull up ice wall. Uh, I feel like we could talk about this for eight more hours and still be going round and around the flat earth. Just like the sun goes round and round. So but somehow gonna, you don't see it from the other side of the We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. And I just want to put out, you know, one last call to that's, that's anyone fine. who wants to take us on a trip to circumnavigate the earth and debunk and find this ice wall. Fly over Antarctica. Or if someone would You'll like to take us me. on a flight go with you. to fly and will you over go Antarctica. With me on a rocket ship. Straight up. No, no, no. On a plane. Look, there's the ice wall. Look. It's a glacier. <laughs> the ice wall. That doesn't, oh my God. So, okay. Shows, uh, get so another you picture. Another picture. Just walk right another over picture. it then. <laughs> so you're telling me on the other side of that looks like maybe, what, 60 stories of ice that you, I'm going to see another Petri dish of a human growth o o organization going God, on. God, that'd be amazing, look wouldn't it? There it is. Flat Earth. Come Eddie on, Bravo's. Eddie, Eddie Bravo's no, no, right. Now look, honestly. What like, is that? What is that? <laughs> what do you mean, what, what is, is that? It's a bunch of How ice floating on the ocean. When I say pictures are fake. It's I not fake. <laughs> find another one. A, one a, a long shot, though. That's just one. Can you find one? There's a long yes, angle. Yes, find, the, find the one of that being a 10 miles. million feet long, please. That's yes. the angle yes. that we need. Totally. I would say that whoever does take us on a flight or a ship to circumnavigate, this is what you're going to have to be listening to for the entirety <laughs> of it. But please, like, look at that ice wall. Look at that ice wall. That's not an ice wall. Let's that's make a, this that's happen. A this would be the biggest video there ever. Is, look. What is that? Well, you can see the edge of it, bro. What are you talking about? You can see the edge of that. The edge yeah. of what? The edge of the, the, the glacier, water the frozen goes, piece of ice. Maybe it's going that way. Oh, my gosh. It is going that way. It I looks like it's a right it, angle. Is, you said, where's the ice wall? We show you three pictures of the ice wall. That is not an <laughs> ice wall. <laughs> That's like I'm showing you that Tower 7. That is an seven. ice plateau. Yeah, I'm showing you videos, different angles of Tower 7 collapsing, and you're going, no, it's fire. <laughs>
It's fires. Nis said it. Office fires. Nis said it's fires. I believe it's fires. Nis said so, it's okay, fires. So then, okay, so, so, so then are those, those photos of the ice wall are real then? They're CGI. Are they real or not? What do you they're think? They're CGI. If they're real, then why didn't they just pop their head over that and look on the other side? Why haven't you taken a trip to Antarctica or Alaska or anywhere yet? So now you're talking about an infinite plane. Yeah. So now they're okay. I don't know. Okay, this is science. I don't know. I don't know. I want to see the petri dish that is growing the other human growth. I want to see more fake pictures of space. I could draw you one. I just don't even know. I guess. We should end it there. We didn't really come to any conclusions, but I think we can conclude that it is very important for everyone out there to ask questions and be able to debate their friends about things that, frankly, you none of us... believe whatever you want. I'm just, yeah, I'm just even... really curious. Just don't believe the government, right? Can we agree on that? Most <laughs> exactly. Times, probably don't believe the That's all I'm saying. Yes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we will... Any we will... information <laughs> coming from the government, you got to... Uh, be suspicious of it, and you got to break it down and reinvestigate, reopen the files. That's a smart thing to do when yes. you're dealing with criminals. Saying, oh, no, they wouldn't do that. Criminals? A criminal? No detective would go, ah, he wouldn't do that. You should when absolutely. Nah, he wouldn't do Why would he do that? Nah, he wouldn't do that. A, the worst detective in the world wouldn't even think like that. Right, which is why, you know... We should definitely tolerate. Trump. We should yeah. definitely tolerate conspiracy theories. Yeah. And on that note, I think we can all agree to disagree. So we'll. S <laughs> thanks for watching. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I have a feeling if when I come back, you guys are gonna be flat earthers. I bet. We'll when see. are you coming back? He's gonna wait until he sees me tweet on Twitter. Okay, maybe the Earth is flat. But the, uh, the one thing is, <laughs> no, we're going on the ship. Are way open we're going on an expedition. Way more open minded. It is my world. dream. I would shut people up. It is my dream to be Magellan and You're circumnavigate the Earth. My mission over here. Well, but here's the thing with me is I've been there. Way better than I've me. been there before. You can teach so me so jujitsu on the and ship. Every, and every, you know, you know why, you know why flat Earth is so big. Because every, everyone has the same story. No one ever goes, yeah, the earth is flat. Oh, cool. I believe that. Everyone says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Everybody, <Please>. when, anytime <laughs> you want, you, 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 there's a new uh, conspiracy theory host. They have the same story that I just told. The same, everyone has the same story. When I first heard about Flat Earth, I thought it was the dumbest shit. Ever. I thought it was a CIA psyop. It must be some kind of distraction. You, it Every, is clearly it is a psyop. The exact same story. Everybody, no one just believes it right away. I was way worse than you guys. Well, it gets people fighting about stuff that no one can really prove, rather than focusing in on what's actually going on on our planet it's, it's with the actual chemtrails and the frequency exactly. control. Exactly. So there That's you go. Wrong.